Hmm. It is dark. It is moonlight. There's a dog in my yard. Get out. I need to get somewhere. Alright, hold on my keys. Alright. Alright. And start up a car. Oh, and that radio. Oh, yeah, I hear that car hum. Look at that smoking car. Kitty, kitty, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Or you can duck. That works too. Let's see. What's this? Legendary treasure nearly found. Ancients hindered findings. Accidents. Ah, uh, that's a little buggy. Legend legendary pyramid discovered it deep in jungle. S driving through the sand in our bit in our hot car. And then into the desert. And we find out that our driver is Wario with some hot glasses. Wario Land 4. Oh, uh, people, game smarts, and I'm gonna be starting up Wario 4 on. Uh, pay no attention to that. On hard mode. That, that intro out of the way, let's get started. There it is. The giant pyramids of Giza. Oh, wait, no, wrong place. Ooh, shiny. Flapper wings like a duck. Kitty. Chase after it. Go ahead, butt it. Yeah, let's go jump in that hole. That looks totally safe. Oh, crap. Oh, boy's right. Um. Uh. We have nowhere to go. So, time to go to our fourth tutorial level. If you didn't see it earlier because I scrolled too quickly, it's all hieroglyphs. So our goal that our goal here is supposed to get to that the frog thing. To some headed frog. But we can't get there. So we'll have to take the other way that they gave us. Press down to go through pipes. Easy enough. And we have enemies. And I'll just show you and really quick secret. Point of no return, where we have a bunch of enemies. Let's try to avoid them if we can. Press B to attack. Press B and A to attack and to jump. Not too shat not too shabby. And we have our second piece already. And yeah, this is kind of a walkthrough-ish video, by the way. I'm not gonna say where all the pieces are. Just kind of give like a brief explanation of think how things work in this game. And they're asking us to dash again. Uh, ooh, diamond! Shiny! Okay, pick up stone, throw it. Yeah, this level is very generic. Nothing too hard on. Ah! That totally caught me off guard. Anyways, the reason I skipped all those enemies, there's a heart tank right here. Getting it refills all of your hearts, well, extra lives or whatever the heck they are. And, if you didn't notice, under the, um, all the hearts we have is a small meter. If you get, if you, if you fill all that all the way up, then you get an extra heart. If that's already filled up, then all the hearts you gain will become... Uh, and if you didn't notice, these enemies drop the red orb things, which will fill that up. Have that all full, and they drop cash instead. Oh wait, no, not yet. Too early. Too early. There you go. That's a lot of money, and we don't want to miss out on any monies, right? Ah! 
fuck. Oof, that's dangerous. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of risk here that I really shouldn't be taking at all, but... Hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. So yeah, tutorial levels. They're there. Let's just dash, because why not? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. So one secret thing they can tell you is that if you press B and then hold, hold down... Um... You'll slide. Do a barrel slide. Uh, for tutorial level, the music here isn't that bad. LB, it's nothing really spectacular, but, you know. Again, tutorial levels, they're there. Third piece. level has a piece and blah blah blah. Press down on ramps and you'll jump. Or er, roll. If you jump right before you start rolling, then you'll cancel it. And here we have the key. His name is Keezer, for being an old geezer and something of the sort. Money's money's everywhere. So yeah. Generic level is generic. And uh yeah, I didn't talk about the blocks. Um the generic brown rocks are soft soft rocks, and the green ones are kind of hard. Which means you're going to need a lot of force to take it down. Hmm, this doesn't look weird at all. You get... Diamonds! And a few enemies, but that's not really too, nothing too bad. Let's go down! Whee! Rocks, and... Hey, there's a thing we found earlier! Now we can get to it. Got the rock here. When you jump on it, you activate a timer. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Anyways, all the all the blocks that have the little froggy sign on it turn. All the ones will turn invisible, and the outlined ones will turn solid. And the little things there. In order to complete a passage, you need four pieces from each level. Yes, there's more than one. And the old keys and keyser to get to unlock the next level for you. Your game is always saved when you go back to a passage. Yay, so they so we've kind of evolved from Pokemon. We don't need to save anymore. There's Keyser unlocking the passage. And once you complete a level. Background will light up or color in, I suppose. And here we have the minigame shop. It costs money to play. I'll go over these in brief a little later. But for now, I think I have some other stuff to go over. So give me a few seconds. So hey, there's a normal, hard, and super hard difficulty. A normal and hard, there aren't uh, too many significant changes. On super hard, though, uh, yeah, prepare to get your shock on. Hey, where'd our thing go? We need that. Oh, whatever. At first, it doesn't seem too hard, and then you realize, well, you only have one heart. That's one thing. And then... Yeesh! Well, that already makes things up a lot. And what's even worse... Ugh! That is brutal! Yeah, they don't mess around on super hard mode. 
you have two minutes to get to the exit. So, speed running time. And in this difficulty, you only have one heart to do it all. So, let's try not to get ourselves killed before we actually need to get there. Ugh. Oh god. Waiting games. Oh god! It doesn't help when the game starts to nudge, skip like that. Ugh. Yeah. You're- yeah, this mode will keep you busy. On super even on the first level, you really have to keep your guard up, otherwise you're gonna get pinged by an enemy pretty quickly. Like here I got caught by this one the first time, and this one's now a red enemy. Oh hey! Oh good. Remember that heart tank earlier? It's now replaced by enemies and instead of diamond. Money is nice, but we kinda need the hearts, you know? Yeah, not much to say when you're rushing. Oh god. Not much to say when you're rushing either. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad and kind of excess. Oof. Oof. In this mode, the, uh, thing. The, um. Everything's in it. Um, let's see, chests will change around and switch places with in other areas, but for this level, it used, it stays the same, so, generally. Oh, god. I might actually run out of time. And hey, remember that diamond earlier? Now it's guarded by... It's right here. Where the heart chest is? Yep. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm actually running out of time. Well, I make it. I'm gonna actually make it. Go, 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 go! Fuck yeah! Five seconds. So yeah. They'll change the place. Of Anyways, on super hard mode, they'll change the placing of enemies. They'll change what types of enemies occur in the stage. They'll change where the counter thing is, uh, and where all of the chests are. So yeah, you're gonna have your hands full in this mode. 